Ed Elaine Johnson is a composer and violinist, but he doesn't play an ordinary violin. His music sounds like three or four instruments playing at the same time, but this deep, rich sound is produced by just one instrument, a purple electric violin. I learned to play the violin at school. I played in a school orchestra, but I didn't really enjoy playing classical music. It's, it was too rigid. You have to play exactly what the composer wrote, and I wanted to experiment and to improvise and write my own music. So did you go to music college? No, I studied painting at the School of Drawing and Fine Art in Oxford. Um, but I carried on playing the violin in rock bands and folk bands. All oh, right. So what did you do when you left college? I tried to make a career as a painter, but it was too difficult. So I went back to music. And that's when you started busking? That's right. I started playing on the streets in England, and then I travelled around Europe and the States. I met a lot of different musicians in different countries and learnt some of the styles of music that they played. Could you play us some? Sure, yeah. This is, um, this is a typical Breton melody. Spanish sound. That's great. So, did this um, European music influence your music? It influenced me a lot, but my own music is a mixture of styles. I don't imitate them. And have you stopped busking now? No, I don't busk as much as I did but I still enjoy it. Not many people play electric violin on the street, so people are usually interested. When I write a new tune, I take it out on the street and play it to people. If they stop and listen, I think it must be good, so I develop it into a new piece. If they don't listen, it's back to the drawing board. Now, the violins normally have four strings, don't they? That's right. Now, this has got five. Yes, the top four strings are the same as an ordinary violin. The bottom string is the same as the C string on a viola. So this is really a violin and a viola built into one. Where did you get it? I built this one myself. Really? D did it take long? It took longer to design than to build, about six months altogether. <laughs> and why did you paint it purple? Oh, well, this is my first violin. I inherited it from my grandfather. When I got it, it was broken, so I repaired it and painted it purple to make it look nicer. <laughs> then when I took it on the street busking, people noticed it and began to talk about it. There's that guy with the purple violin. So when I built the new one, I decided to keep the colour. It's a sort of trademark. When you're playing it, it sounds like more than one instrument. Um, how do you get such a, a rich sound out of it? I use these effects pedals. They change the sound of the violin and make it sound like different instruments. For example, this one makes it sound a bit like an electric guitar. <laughs> Uh, makes it sound like a cello or a bass. You can even make it sound like a steel band. Then I combine all the different sounds using an echo box. What's an echo box? Well, it's a device that records the music that I've just played and repeats it over and over again. Mm. So I can play a bass line. The 
echo box carries it on while I play another part on top. Then it carries on repeating both those parts while I play the tune. So that's all the equipment you need if you're going to play live. That's right. I can use this same equipment on the streets or in a big concert. It's a sort of high-tech one-man band. And so you've also made a CD, haven't you? That's right. It's called the Purple Electric Violin Concerto, for obvious reasons. It was very cheap to make. Because of the way I work, I can record straight onto digital tape instead of having to use a big recording studio. Digital tapes, a sort of high-quality cassette that enables you to make a CD. So you did it all yourself? That's right. Because there isn't a big record company behind it, I was free to record whatever I wanted. So how many copies have you sold? About 30,000 so far. Oh, that's great. What about the... F um, what are your plans? Well, the first CD is still selling well. At the moment, I'm recording a new CD and I'm going to go back to Europe and give free concerts on the street and in record stores. So you're going to carry on busking? That's right. This music was inspired by the streets. I'd like to take it back to the people who helped me to write it. <laughs> ¶¶ 